Ruth, Ruth 1. Now, it came to pass in the days when the judges ruled that there was a famine in the land, and a certain man of Beit Lechem, Yahuda, went to sojourn in the country of Moab, he and his woman and his two sons. And the name of the man was Eli Melech, and the name of his woman, Naomi, and the name of his two sons, Mechlan and Kilian, Ephrathim of Beit Lechem, Yahuda. And they came into the country of Moab and continued there. And Eli Melech, Naomi's man, died, and she was left, and her two sons. And they took them women of the women of Moab. The name of the one was Orpah, and the name of the other, Ruth. And they dwelled there about ten years. And Machlan and Kilian died also both of them, and the women, rather woman, was left of her two sons and her man. Then she arose with her daughters-in-law, that she might return from the country of Moab. For she had heard in the country of Moab how that Yahweh had visited his eth people in giving them bread. Wherefore she went forth out of the place where she was, and her two daughters-in-law with her, and they went on the way to return unto the land of Yahuda. And Naomi said unto her two daughters-in-law, Go, return each to her mother's house. Yahuwah, deal kindly with you, as ye have dealt with the dead and with me. Yahuwah, grant you that ye may find rest, each, each of you in the house of her man. Then she kissed them, and they lifted up their voice and wept. And they said unto her, Surely we will return with you unto your people. And Naomi said, Turn again, my daughters, why will ye go with me? Are there yet any more sons in my womb, that they may be your men? Turn again, my daughters, go your way, for I am too old to have a man. If I should say, I have hope, if I should have a man also tonight, and should also bear sons, would ye tarry for them till they were grown? Would ye stay for them from having men? Nay, my daughters, for it grieves me much for your sakes that the hand of Yahuwah is gone out against me. And they lifted up their voice and wept again. And Orpah kissed her mother-in-law, but Ruth clave unto her. And she said, Behold, your sister-in-law has gone back unto her people and unto her Elohim. Return you after your sister-in-law. And Ruth said, Entreat me not to leave you or to return from following after you. For whither you go, I will go. And where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people and your Elohim, my Elohim. Where you die, will I die, and there will I be buried. Yahuwah, do so to me, and more also, if aught but death part you and me. When she saw that she was steadfastly minded to go with her, then she left speaking unto her. So they too went until they came to Beit Lechem, and it came to pass. When they were come to Beit Lechem, that all the city was moved about them, and they said, Is this Naomi? And she said unto them, Call me not Naomi, call me Mara, for El Shaddai has dealt very bitterly with me. I went out full, and Yahuwah has brought me home again, empty. Why then call me, rather call ye me Naomi, seeing Yahuwah has testified against me? and El Shaddai has afflicted me. So Naomi returned, and Ruth the Moavi, her daughter-in-law, with her, which returned out of the country of Moab. 
and they came to Beit Lechem in the beginning of barley harvest. 